This is John Beauty Salon Ham once again from SlipJab.com, and I'm here with the head coach of the Ultimate Fighter and one of the top premier welterweights in the country, Cal K.O. No. What's up, man? Thanks for having me on. No doubt. <laughs> Keep joining. Keep joining. <laughs> well, Cal, today we got a couple questions for you. Um, the first question we have, um, first of all, how did you get out here to Albuquerque, New Mexico? You know, all of Australia. How, how did you get out here? Uh, Greg Jackson actually came to Australia once and uh, brought a couple of fighters over to fight there. Uh, I ended up fighting one of Greg's guys, uh, my coach at the time, ended up fighting another one of Greg's guys, Joey V. Senor. Okay. And uh, Greg was really impressed with the way we fought. And, uh, you know, he asked us to come out here. Mm -hmm. uh, lucky enough at the time, I was working for Steve Irwin, and, and so we had the funds, and, and Steve paid for us to come out here to wow. uh, train with Greg. Okay. So, yeah, let's get into that. Um, Cal used to work for Steve Irwin, you know, you know, the crocodile hunter. How was that experience working with him? You worked, you was his personal security for three years, correct? Yeah. How was that whole experience? Uh, it was phenomenal, you know, some of the best time of my life. Uh, you know, I look back for, uh, out on those fond memories, you know. Um, the things I've done with Steve, I've never been doing in, in 10 lifetimes, you know. I've been going on all the tro crocodile expeditions, uh -huh. catch crocodiles, put satellite trackers on them. Uh, you know, he taught me how to surf. Mm -hmm. he, he loved fighting as well. He used to fight with us every morning. So uh, he built us a cage at the zoo where we could train every morning. Yeah. Uh, the guy was just passionate about life, man. He brought that out in everyone. It was just a phenomenal experience to be around. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. I'm sure Steve Irvin would be very proud of you right now, you know. And one thing about you, you one of the most elite strikers in the welterweight division, you know. Um, people know you more than anything for your stand-up. In, in, in MMA, you know for your stand-up. What are you known for on, in your personal life with your friends and your family? What are you known for? Uh, <laughs> Keep Jardine. <Again. laughs> uh, just, you know, I have fun all the time. You know, I'm always a joker. I'm always mucking around. I'm always playing. Uh, Here you go, man. I'm waiting for you. Keep Jardine. Yeah, basically just, just being a joke. You know, I'm always having fun. Uh, I don't take life seriously. I don't take nothing seriously. So uh, uh -huh. my friends always seem a little bit too laid back because uh, I don't yeah. care nothing bothers me. I don't care about anything. But that's basically it, just having fun. Okay. Well, we all know you were the head coach um, from Australia versus Team Canada. You were the head coach for Australia. What was that experience like, you know, being chosen to be the head coach for Australia? Uh, it was a great experience, you know. Um, to re represent your country on such a high level. Uh, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and uh, you know, I was very proud to do it. And uh, you know, I learned a lot just from coaching, so um, yeah, that was a great experience. Cool. All right, cool. well, that was a fabulous interview. Thank you very much, Cal. All right, thank you, brother. All right.